Hey guys, Paul here. Welcome back to the channel. So I recently just took delivery of this 2023 Tesla Model Y long range. But today I have an awesome new accessories for Tesla Model Y. This is the rear climate and entertainment system display for Tesla Model Y and Model 3. So today I will test if this unit uh, will work with brand new 2023 Tesla Model Y and we'll show you step-by-step -step installation this one should be really simple installation it shouldn't take longer than half an hour to install and then I'll show you all the functions and what it does and how to use this awesome display and then at the end I'll show you how it looks in my Tesla Model Y let's go Okay, let's see what comes in the box of this rear entertainment system with climate control for Tesla Model 3 and Model Y. So this is a new sleek design um, that built the screen in the rear AC vent that it used to be. Looks really similar to what you see in Tesla Model X and Model S. All right, before we open it, um, let me show you the basic functions here so it controls the AC heated seat in the back and then the seat belt reminder also play music and videos also has the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay and it has the Android system in it and it has touchscreen and Wi-Fi also Bluetooth and this system also has the built-in uh, memory of 32 gigs let's open the box the system itself and then all the wire harness should be in here so this is the actual um, display itself with the advent on the bottom and this is the warranty card you also get the warranty card and this is the instruction manual okay so this the wire harness really really simple wire so I believe this just connects to that extra MCU port in the rear so you don't have to run this cable to the front MCU at all so the installation should be really easy and simple to do all right so this is pretty much what came in the box now let's go and install it in my car I got this awesome new rear entertainment display for my Tesla Model Y from Henshaw or hautoparts.com. Here it is. So make sure you select the seven inch screen embedded display. So it's $676 for this display before discount. So if you are interested in this display, you can use my special discount code that for extra 25% off. Right now, Henshaw still have this awesome um, special sales for Christmas and New Year for 25% off. So after the discount, it dropped to $507. That's $170 discount. I'll put the link in the description down below. Right now, let's start the installation. Okay, first step, we have to remove the original rear passenger air vent on the center console first. So there's no screw attached to this. There are clips inside so basically just grip on this part right here and then pull it just like that gently don't don't pull it too hard because there are, there's the cable here and the plug that we have to remove so this is a power um, plug and cable that power your two USB-C ports in the back here then you just need to remove these plug out there's a little clip here just pull it and then remove it okay next step we have to remove that panel on the bottom right there um, you might need a little bit of help with the trim removal tools I got these from amazon.com came in really handy with different projects so I'll put the link in the description down below now let's remove that panel out Okay, just use the trim removal tools. Um, 
plug it in and um, again these there's are no screws here just um, basically clips so one in and just use another one to help it there so one is pop open it's really easy to pop the whole thing out there you go um, later we are going to access this um, MCU this is the plug that connect to the main MCU in the front um, before we do that we have to turn off the car power okay, so before we plug and unplug MCU plug that I show you earlier let's turn off the car first to go to the main menu right here and then go to safety and then roll all the way down scroll down all the way and power off after you power it off make sure I'm the one sitting on the driver's seat here otherwise it will activate and turn on the car again so turn that off now we can unplug it okay so before I plug it in and unplug this you have two choices and um, you could either remove this panel out or try to thread that wire that we're gonna plug in here up this space right here um, I usually just just thread it up so I don't have to remove this let me try it and see if that works then we don't have to remove this at all if you have to remove it um, basically there are two screws that you have to unscrew and everything else uh, the plastic clip around this area both on both sides of this panel okay so I basically put the wire in on this side right here and then I will go up underneath the air vent we'll go up here make sure this little wire comes up too that's it I didn't have to um, remove this panel at all so now unplug this blue wire so pull the male out of the free male this one right there and then now we plug in the male to pass through port plug there and then the male white male plug from hand show to the female on the main computer unit that's it now we just have to um, clean up the wires a little I wouldn't close this yet I will test we'll plug in um, the display and then test if that works and then we'll close this out before I plug it in let me show you the comparisons between the OEM um, air vent in the back and then the hand show display with the air vent it's actually the same exact same size really similar in shape and also included with the metal clips here so we don't have to transfer the original metal clips to the new one so that's really make it really easy to install and let me show you the front real quick as you can see here um, pretty much the same size only the advent become um, smaller for this display to be here so it's bigger display right here smaller advent we will test the advent later after the installation you still have a um, charging port right here USB C USB A and I believe this is the input USB so you can um, put in plug in a USB dongle if you have movie or music in it you can play on this display all right now let's plug it in okay so now let's plug it in and we will test the unit so first let's plug in the power for the USB first so we should get the power back and then this is the data so plug this in we're done with the wiring we just need to clean up make sure it doesn't block the AC vent and push the wire back in keep it really nice and clean 
and then just pop it right back in. That's it. Alright, so before um, I close this part right here, cover it back, um, I'll open the display and then turn on the car and we'll test the display. Let's turn the power back on. There you go, power's on. Let's see the power, there you go. Looks really clean actually. It fits well with the design here. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue And this sense can be a young man's game There you go So it's powered up Awesome, it's even showing um, The doors open See, the rear two passenger doors are open Really cool and you, we can close this out all right now we know it's powered up and I'll come back and show you all the setting and the functions on this display let's close this up real quick just close it back that's it really simple all right so the installation is done really really easy to install this is probably the easiest one um, as a rear display wise for me to install without this framing I probably take probably 20 minutes max to install this unit it's so easy to install right now let's go through a simple um, control here first with the climate control and audio basic audio control um, let's go through the basic audio real quick so these are the basic audio that we can control volume up and down see up and down the screen I'm tapping right here but control the main in the front and then this play button here and then pause and play try to skip can skip there so now we know all the audio, basic audio buttons are working. Um, only thing I wish it could improve here is the button size. It's quite small here, uh, especially uh, volume up and down here. It could be a little bit bigger. As you can see, it could expand now to here. So all of these buttons could be a little bit bigger. So hopefully they could do a, you know, an update in the future. Right now, let's go through the temperature control. So for the temperature control, you have to turn on the main um, temperature in the car first in order to control from the rear here. So let's turn that on. All right, so it's on right now. And then now we can control in the back here. So to control the fan is up here, right here. So we can lower the fan and then higher the fan, put the fan speed on high. From here, it's on high in the back right now. And then lower it back. Then we can adjust the temperature up or down. And this is the outside temperature of the main car it's also show the battery so now we know we can adjust um, the climate control in the back here the basic climate control and the event it's actually fixed so we can't adjust anymore um, but it's fixed to the east side of the passenger so you um, mostly will get all the the AC and the fan in the back here so now let's um, see the car seat warning plug in or do not put on the car seat it's right here this is me sitting in the middle seat in the back so we show here so it's just basic car seat I um, mean seat belt information 
and then the, this is the heated rear heated seat control so you can control up and down on all and then you can close all so I tested before with the AC let's see with the climate control off in the front like the main climate control off you still can um, control the heated seat in the back which is awesome because some display you need the main climate control to be on in order to control the heated seat in the back but for this one um, you do not need that just so you can just control individually in the back here so the rear passenger seat do not have to ask front passenger to turn on or control whatever level they want their heated seat to be which is awesome so the next button here you can also control the air circulation from the back here so you can turn on and off the circulation and then AC on AC off and then if you press on the battery next to the main control then you see the bigger um, battery percentage on the main screen I think you just press that to get out there you go so you see the main battery just press on the battery and press that to go back to home screen this is Bluetooth and Wi-Fi capabilities okay so let's use the Bluetooth on this to connect audio to the car so you basically go to your car and then choose Bluetooth in the media and then just connect the device at the new device just start searching that car BT right there is the unit display we just install so now it's gonna show there now it's connected so this is also has a carplay inside built in so just go to the menu and then you see speed play right here and click on speed play all right so carplay just connected it's really simple so every time you come in and with your phone it will auto connect to your carplay you can use all the apps that's in your carplay so basically all the entertainment app that you can use in the carplay you can use it from the back here all right let's get out so to go to the main menu just swipe from up there and then go click home okay let's go to some basic setting in this car so again go to that uh, main menu again and then setting and then now you can do off the setting that you need in here so the movies the videos you can plug in your USB right here and then play the video so this is just the samples video that was in this unit so you can see it's playing the video file so we can you know upload the video files like uh, cartoon movies for your kids in the back here and then same thing here this is the internal uh, memories for music so you can plug in your USB and get all the data from there and then there's also an app so this is a browser so you can go to Chrome so just basic browser you can browse anything from here and gallery is basically um, any pictures or, or videos from the USB here same thing you can view from here you can even download more apps from the Play Store from this unit so any kind of streaming units that you have that count with them like Amazon Prime Prima Plus or even HBO Max you can watch and entertain your backseat passengers from back here also a lot of um, different gaming apps you can choose to play on this touch screen here's a quick preview on Amazon Prime that you can watch from back here which is really really awesome now let's try to play Fruit Ninja real quick so the touch screen is working with the Fruit Ninja which is awesome it's real responsive actually touch screen much better than I thought and then YouTube so 
you can connect you can watch YouTube you can um, connect to Wi-Fi or you can connect to your, your Wi-Fi hotspot on your phone so you can watch the YouTube on the go in the car so to connect to your Wi-Fi so basically go to setting network and then turn on the Wi-Fi select your Wi-Fi type in your password and that's it all right that's it guys so this awesome display is really really easy to install and it has so many options that you can use with the rear display and I think I, what I love the most is the design it's really clean it's really um, similar that you see in the new Model S and Model X and you can do so much more than the Model S and Model X does all right thank you so much for watching today's video guys and don't forget to click like if you like the video don't forget to subscribe to support the channel also future content we'll see you on the next video